Hi, I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer with Agilent Technologies. Today we're going to show how to hook multiple instruments up to our PC using our LAN interface. In the past, we've shown how to hook up a single instrument with a LAN cable to our PC. What makes this work is each of our instruments runs an auto IP feature, and today we're going to take advantage of that using multiple instruments. So the first thing I want to show is our LAN switch. So I've got a, a LAN switch, and I've gone ahead and cooked up all of our instruments to the LAN switch. The next step is to reset each of our instruments. So we want to do a, a LAN reset on that. All the instruments are basically the same. They have a utility menu. We want to pick the I.O. feature. And here's the LAN reset button. On the oscilloscope, I notice it's best to actually set the oscilloscope to use the auto IP feature. So the way we do that is there's a selection between DHCP and auto IP. So I've selected the auto IP before doing our LAN reset. Once we've reset all of our instruments, we can then go to the PC and we'll use the Agilent Connection Expert and we'll go ahead and find each of our instruments on the LAN. Okay, so it's going out and discovering each of the instruments on the LAN interface. So it discovers the instrument and it also discovers the socket interface for each of the instruments as well. Once we've found each of the instruments, we can go ahead and select them. So I'm selecting the waveform generator, the DMM, and the oscilloscope. So I'll go ahead and say OK. And so it's going to go out and do an IDN of each of the instruments. And then it's going to go ahead and set them up in the Agilent Connection Expert. OK, now that's completed. What we see in the Agilent Connection Expert for each of our instruments is we see our visa address. So this is what we would put into a program if we were programming the instruments. If we want to bring up the instrument's interface, we can go ahead and do that either using the visa address or we can enter the IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and um, bring up the interface for our um, function generator. So I'm going to click on instrument web interface. And again, this works with any um, web browser. So it brought up our function generator. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, control our function generator using the web interface. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, add some modulation to our signal. And we'll be able to see this on our oscilloscope when we go ahead and, and apply it. So I've applied the modulation. And now you can see the modulation on the oscilloscope. So that's our first method for controlling our instruments. The second method is using a router. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take out our switch. And I'll go ahead and set up the router, and we'll take a look at what that looks like. OK, we'll go ahead and do our second method of connecting our instruments to our PC, which is to use a router instead of our LAN switch. So I've gone ahead and connected all of our instruments up to our router. And the next thing to do is do a LAN reset on each of the instruments. So I'm going to demonstrate this with the oscilloscope. So we go into the utility menu. Select I.O. And this is our, our LAN reset. I'm going to go ahead and um, change the oscilloscope. Instead of using the auto IP function, this time I want to use the um, DHCP setting. So I've gone ahead and made that change. So we'll go ahead and apply it. With the change made, we can now do our LAN reset. And I've reset the LAN on, on our other instruments already. One thing you'll notice when the IP address comes up, they, all the IP addresses do fall within the private network. 192.168. And with the LAN, they'll all be in a sequential order, whereas when we use the auto IP, the last two digits will um, vary. Those are set internally by each of the instruments. They kind of come with a default. And if it's available, they'll use that. And if it's not available, then they'll go ahead and increment it. OK, so now we've got all of our instruments set up. We'll go back to our um, PC. And we'll go ahead and um, find all of our instruments using our Agilent Connection Expert, just like we did before. Okay, and it's starting to find the instrument. So it finds the instrument plus the socket version of the instrument. And the one difference you'll notice is when you use the router, it assigns the IP addresses in a, a sequential order. That's all I had today. I just want to show a couple different methods for connecting our instruments to a PC. 
We use both an internet switch and a router. I find the ethernet switch just as easy as using a router. There's a lot of them are available as people upgrade to newer and faster switches. The old ones work great with our instruments. So it's an easy way to connect multiple instruments to our to a PC. Thanks for watching.